Sunday broadcast, October 24th, 2021, at R. Kelly Appeal TV. Welcome to our channel. I'm your host, Shine Wisdom, and I thank our mother channel, Emerald Mystery Radio, who has been an audio broadcast personality on our YouTube channel since 2009. We so very appreciate this opportunity to be partnered with you. So our channel here at R. Kelly Appeal TV will be discussing what is occurring during the conviction of Robert Sylvester Kelly, a.k.a. R. Kelly, also known as the United States of America versus Robert Sylvester Kelly Appeal Court case. For many who may not know, R. Kelly is an American multi-award winning recording music artist. Born January 8, 1967, Chicago, Illinois. Occupation, singer, songwriter, record producer. Convictions, racketeering, sexual exploitation of a child, kidnapping, bribery, sex trafficking, and violation of the Man Act 2021. Penalty, awaiting sentence in custody in Brooklyn, New York, jail, without bail, held for sentence. Inmate number 09627-035. Songs known by the National Recording Artist, I Believe I Can Fly, Bump and Grind, Your Body's Calling, the world's greatest, and many, many, many more. He has also been titled the King of R&B, selling over 75 million records worldwide. <clears throat> this channel will provide an ongoing account of what is taking place after the hype of conviction has settled. Soon everyone will go back to their lives with just a memory of the man who created over 30 plus years as a star in the eyes of humanity, making music that has spanned over generations. Our goal is to be objective on this channel and just follow as we always have done. We do not need to go deeply into what has been on the headlines, surviving R. Kelly, Lifetime docu-series that is being sued as we make this video. His marriages with Aaliyah, 1994 to 1995, and Andrea Lee, 1996 to 2009. I was moved to create this channel for information purposes only because of the many individuals who are disproportionately confined in America today. We are a research company specializing in shared opinions based on social media documentation. The goal is to make one think about what is being stated and watch over time how situations reveal themselves. R. Kelly's conviction took place right after a world pandemic was settling down. September 27, 2021, it was stated through a blog post that R. Kelly is planning to, quote, appeal his conviction, according to his defense lawyer. They were not given, they were not expecting the outcome and was very disappointed. Some witnesses were given three, four, or five different versions as to what they said happened there. End quote. CNN stated, quote, that R. Kelly's attorney was unable to prepare for trial nearly six months before court in 2020, end quote, due to the pandemic. So as a criminal justice background major in both a bachelor and master's degree and international um, educational 
doctorate program. I myself will look at prior moves in business that took place with R. Kelly and how illiteracy played a major role in his life, which caused a downfall in his music industry. The signing of documents and contracts that placed him in future venues created what we now know as the R. Kelly criminal conviction and other things that took place within that sexual situation. We will not, we will not use this platform to make him out to be a victim. We will only share opinions based on what is being shown in media format that can paint him out to be a, quote, monster, end quote. One thing we can all agree on as a society about R. Kelly is that he is a genius in the music industry. We will be posting our videos each Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It will be a premiere, and we want you to post your views and opinions in the description box below, because that will be the backboard for the next video. I will be using the background music of R. Kelly to honor his talented contributions to national and international music, and this is not to offend or discredit anyone who chooses to make themselves a victim in the 21st century. To make sure you are notified for our weekly episodes, please subscribe to our channel. Next Sunday, October 31st, 2021 at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we will be discussing major areas of appeal that should be looked at based upon areas of testimony, and the rebuttals of prosecution. This is a major area because this is going to be the dynamic, this is the uh, court case of the century, you know. Um, and there are major discussions here that must take place, that must be looked at in an objective point of view. So, so I thank you so much for liking, sharing, subscribing to this podcast. And again, this is something that we have been doing, um, changing the world on a spiritual and physical basis and in inspiration since 2009 on our YouTube channel, Emerald Mystery Radio. And it's just an honor to be here to help support an individual who has supported and given so much love and care to America. You know, um, we do have haters when it comes down to change and transforming our lives. So a lot of people may want to hold us back. Sometimes, you know, if you look at the industry, the music industry, it has been a very brutal world to live in. All the way from a person who can be on top of the world today and under the dirt tomorrow. And you know, this is the reason why, as we look at the history of those who have gone before Robert Sylvester Kelly um, in areas of sexual exploitation and abuse, um, just total blatant disrespect. And so people have a way of taming the name of an individual and our goal here is not to judge anyone. It's just to put the information out and allow people to make the decisions for themselves. And we've always been that way. Even when we spoke about the conscious awakening and awareness of you know, universal law and, you know, um, comedic order, 
back in 2009 when that was not popular, when people were not speaking that, you know, um, telling us that we were, you know, oh, stay away, you know, we stay away from those people, they, you know, but all it was was just an idea of research that we began to feel connected to ancestrally, and we began a new journey. And in that, we were defamed, you know, that was the very first time I was incarcerated, you know, under that concept of change and transition, transformation. And so once we grow from that and we awaken ourselves to the mindset of things that can take place, as long as we stay grounded, I was watching an uncensored video of R. Kelly when he was just talking about his life in 45 minutes. And one thing that he did state is that he liked the balance. Because if you can balance yourself on a grounded level, when we're rising to the mountain top, as many of us do, and, and we are so focused on what we've heard and what our fears are, and what our lives have become, we're afraid to continue to keep climbing that mountain top. And as you go up that mountain top, it's so difficult to somehow remember what you left down at the bottom and balance yourself with all of that psychologically and continue to stay sustainable in your balance as you're moving to the top. There is no real top, it's only the growth and transformation. And any of us who have followed R. Kelly from 1994, when he first came on the scene, I think, or in the 90s, when he first came on the scene, you gotta remember, Bill Cosby was just coming on the scene with, you know, the Cosby Show. And then you had R. Kelly with public announcement and, 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 and being that street performer, you know? He had a lot going on back then. And he had a lot of people who were even waiting with their hands out back then to come forth today. And so we're gonna go over those intimate relationships that we ha that was had during this time that we viewed as a society. And we're going to just maybe analyze that. We're gonna analyze how R. Kelly was then convicted right after Bill Cosby had just, you know, got granted immunity for his conviction. We're going to talk about those things in the criminal justice field. Someone else brought up in a conversation how Mike Tyson was another one who was convicted and then released because of some con extenuating circumstances that were brought out. And this is why the Appeal TV is so very important because we need to make sure that individuals are held accountable when you're talking about the life of an individual or a group of individuals who are disproportionately um, convicted, disproportionately just on race, just on even being rich, that is now a penalty in America, you know? And I don't believe that it is just racism because he's a black man, no. Because everyone has their day, everyone I believe. Karma will come back. However, everyone all at one time rushing through the door, that is a question. That is a question we must ask. When he was sitting on the Gail King interview, and we'll go over that as well, he said, people think, why would I do this when, quote, I've had such a crazy past in the past, end quote. To me, that reflected 
Listen, if I did that to all these people back then, they would have already been coming out. They would have been coming out. They would have been saying something. But everybody had the fear of this man and all the control that he had. But yet, everyone had a voice. And this is what we're going to talk about because I would like your opinion about it. Because my opinion is one thing. I would love to get a rebuttal here. I would love to. And our telephone number is 330-956-0511. And we are available on Saturday for our Sunday's broadcast. Saturday, Eastern Standard Time. We will be available from... 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you would like to be on the show, if you would like to air your opinions about things, if you would like to be a caller that is going to be featured on the show, please contact that number during the time that we have stated. And again, this is one of the reasons you know why you know, everybody took off our covers music and all that when things got bad. But when things were good, everybody was promoting him. But when he was making money for people, and when he was making party music, wedding music, when he was making those number one hits, everybody was so greatly appreciative to R. Kelly. But as soon as everything turned, everybody, and I've been in that position before, everybody began to judge. And I'm sure that anyone, when they were watching those videos, especially men, black, white, Puerto Rican, Mexican, Hispanic, um, um, Jamaican, African, every man has thought about a position immediately in their mind that they were already caught up. And if anybody said a word, one word, they would be convicted as well. So the point of the TV channel is to empower everyone to know that we're all in this together and no one should be of a judgmental state as, you know, this can happen to anyone. And I've learned this from my own incarcerated state and how I was lied against. How these many, many charges that had nothing to do with my case was brought against me. That was, you know, defaming the good in which I was promoting myself to do at the time of awakening, of conscious understanding, and, and the brutalness of society when you are a person walking a path and another person seeks that victory. They want to jump in and jump on it. But sometimes we all have to earn what we get. So this is what this whole channel is going to be about. So we thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. Liking, subscribing to this podcast. I'm going to keep it focused. So Many times you will not see real live individuals, you'll see pictures, but I want you to meditate on this. I want you to think about it. I want it to get deep into your soul so you yourself will know that you have the same opportunity to have a decision that you are responsible for making, regardless of what society paints for you. No matter what society tells you, to believe. It's time for us to get this conscious awakening and awareness and go beyond our societal expectations for someone else to think for us. And that's what this channel is about. Thank you and have a blessed, blessed day.